Hey guys, Dark Skeleton here, and today I'd like to talk to you about how to properly use the Ramp Druid's Force of Nature Savage Roar combo. Specifically, what I want to touch on is how to set up the board state so that when turn 9 comes around, you can finish your opponent off. As a combo druid, your main strength comes from the burst damage that you can deal using Force of Nature and Savage Roar. Out of your hand for 9 mana, that's guaranteed 14 damage immediately, but that is amplified by each creature you have on the field when you do it. Therefore, your objective as a combo druid is to bring your opponent into a range where you can finish them off with the Force of Nature Savage Roar combo. Because the combo relies on hitting the face directly with minions and not spells, that means you have to be very mindful about enemy creatures like a sludge belch or anything that has taunt. So how the druid accomplishes this setup is using a combination of minions which are mid-game and very tough to remove, like Spectral Knight and like Shade of Naxxramas, also using Druid of the Claw, frequently in charge form, in order to deal a little extra damage to your opponent, dropping them down below the 20 HP range and into Threat of Force of Nature Savage Roar. And just like every other competitive druid deck, it runs spells for removal like Wrath and Swipe. Now, although a combo ramp druid does play some big creatures like Ancient of War, it is not a control deck. If you try to play it too controlling, removing every single minion your opponent plays, then by the late game, classes like Priest, Warlock, and Control Warrior will eventually overpower you. Against aggressive decks like Zoo and Hunter, you may need to play defensively during the early game, but that's just fine because if you wear them out, they won't be able to kill you by the turn 9 combo, and you'll still have big creatures on the field. Using that combo, you can finish them off, because those aggressive decks do not have much durability. They just have 30 life, they're not going to play Antique Heal Bot, they're just going to fall over dead to the combo. So with very few exceptions, how you play the deck is tempo so that your opponent can't overwhelm you, but you can still put out enough damage to break them into the 20s or lower range. That might mean taking out some of their weak minions with your big guys like your Spectral Knight or a buffed up Shade of Naxxramas, or even a Druid of the Claw in bear form, but you aren't really going to try to go for one-to-one -one trades. That's a losing proposition. You don't want to try to fight things like Piloted Shredder. You don't want to fight Piloted Sky Golem. Definitely not Piloted Sky Golem. So you have to choose which minions to remove and which ones not to very carefully. A lot of it just depends on the matchup. But what you are almost guaranteed to have to silence or plow through in almost every single match are going to be those big taunts, the Sludge Belcher cards like Sinjin Shieldmaster, and if you are getting screwed and go way into the late game against another Ramp Druid that's not playing the combo, the ones that run Ancient of War, you might have to deal with that, and that would be a big deal. So remember, if you're able to get the Savage Roar and Force of Nature in your hand, drop your opponent into that vulnerable range, and they're unable to throw down an extra taunt which is sufficient for blocking everything, or an ancient heal bot or a healing touch to heal back out of range, then they are effectively screwed. If you can't block the combo druid's burst damage, then there's really nothing you can do, you're just going to lose the match. And that's why Combo Druid is such a strong deck, and is played by many Legend players. I picked up the deck earlier today, streaming for a few hours, and I went from rank 11 all the way down to rank 7. And uh, I plan on actually continuing that trend tomorrow to see if I can maybe get up to rank 5 or something really serious where the best of the best players are actually at. So I've been Dark Skeleton. I hope this gave you a good idea of how the Combo Ramp Druid works. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will catch you all next time.